is going on with y'all? So, so, so. Basically, my life as of the past five days has been one giant procrastination in literally every single aspect. So, that changes right now. I want to lay my ass on the couch for the rest of the evening and do absolutely nothing besides watch TV, but I just know that is going to lead to even more anxiety in my life right now, and uh, I don't really feel like feeling like that anymore. So, one huge, gigantic, massive, colossal reason that I'm so anxious and a huge procrastination is cooking. I cook six times a day. I eat six meals a day, therefore I'm in the kitchen. Six times a f***ing day. I am going to Walmart to get everything I need to meal prep and I am making a lot of food. I'm not going to say it's going to be the entire weeks, but it's going to be some days because I absolutely cannot be in the kitchen six times a day anymore. And that will literally free up so much of my time. I'm going to say I will have at least an hour and a half to two hours extra in my day. Um, it's, that's a big one for me. I, I need to do this even though I want to do literally nothing right now. But we're going to go to Walmart. We're going to meal prep. We're going to create less anxiety in our life. I'm excited for this one. <laughs> Check it out. So we just pulled up to Walmart and um, I was on the phone with Caden on the way over here and apparently he needs some shit too. He's on prep. He's headed to the gym for the second time today and I know how stressful that is. So I'm gonna grab what he needs from Walmart. Did I already mention he needs some shit from Walmart? I don't know. I'm gonna grab what he needs from Walmart while I'm here, drop it off to him and it's on the way home. So you guys will likely see Caden in this video, you know what I'm saying, a little guest appearance. But yeah, we are here for coffee, batteries, containers for meal prep i have to make 42 meals if i make them for the entire week uh and then plus whatever uh kaden needs so let's make this as quick as possible so he can get to cooking not trying to be at the stove all night all right so kaden ended up already being at the gym by the time we dropped his food off um <clears throat> but i made it back and your boy's meal prepping i got a bunch of chicken on the stove I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna make a bunch of food and see how many meals I can whip up. For my meat sources, I have combinations of ground turkey and chicken. So I'm gonna make the ground, or I'm gonna bake the chicken, which I never do. I hope it doesn't come out dry. Uh, Pre-seasoned it, all that. I am going to pan fry the ground beef, or the ground turkey, and then put the vegetables in a separate skillet as well. Make a ton of rice it's already nine o'clock and i have a feeling i'm gonna be in the kitchen for a minute so i just i'm, I'm gonna try to remember throughout this little process that this is going to ultimately de-stress me throughout the week so let me not complain i got a bad habit of it just trying to find ways to simplify my day to day and relieve some stress because your boy need it bad so uh I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys uh, all the meals laid out that I got when I got them done. But uh, yeah, so uh, thank you for tuning in. I will see you on the next clip. All right, so a few hours later now, and I got some meals prepped. That looks so aesthetically pleasing on camera. That shit looks pretty as hell, what you mean? So I kind of sort of goofed it when it comes to like just portion sizes um, basically I ran out of meat here so I basically have entirely I have 10 11 I have 11 
meals, so that should last me, oh man, like, like two days. That's nuts. Yeah, I just, but basically I gotta go get more meat tomorrow. Um, gotta get more vegetables, actually, ran out of all that. And then I gotta cook a bunch more rice. So cooking all that actually did not take me as long as I thought it would, but um, the kitchen was a mess the entire time. That was very much a, uh, uh, disheveled experience uh, I just spit y'all can deal with it but um, that was just like a, everything was everywhere the cleaning up took just as long as the cooking but um, I, like I said I'm just trying to relieve some stress throughout my day so let's see if the simplicity of just opening up the fridge grabbing a meal eating it or grabbing a meal and going takes away a little bit of stress out of my day that would be lovely that's the goal um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a lid on all these, throw them in the fridge, do the same thing tomorrow so I have more meals than just for two days, which holy shit, that's a lot of food. Um, yeah, I'll see y'all at the gym. I already know, tomorrow morning, filming a leg session, and it's, some, it's something a little different, but it's also something a little intense. So uh, I will see you guys for that, and thank you for tuning in. What is going on guys? So today we have a back and bicep workout. Nothing special with this one, but I got my boy Mason with me. Pretty much every time I bring somebody to the gym with me or lift with somebody new or somebody that I don't lift with regularly, I try to murder them. So I'm gonna let you know that right now. But before we go in and crush this, I'm gonna let you guys know that Beam is dropping a brand new vegan protein flavor next Friday, the 17th. So this video will be up on a Monday. You got a whole week to prepare, a whole week to save your money, a whole week to uh, run up a nice paycheck. So you know what I'm saying? You can use code DEV, drop a little bag on this vegan. It's literally my new favorite flavor now um, behind the chocolate brownie and peanut butter smoothie. But I just had it this morning, just got it in this morning. Literally first sip, I was like, yeah, this is the one. But let's get in there gonna kill back this is more of a width focus back day but regardless the intensity is gonna be there and I'm ready to do it all I hear go get the money so I go get it, get it, get it. Hate means I do something right, right. So I'ma let him. I let him. Yeah, I'ma let him. Yeah, 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 I'ma let him. I let him. I hit the nail on the head. Yeah. yeah. So I have never even attempted this before, but I'ma see if I can take 275 for a spin on the barbell row or the Smith machine barbell row. It's definitely not the same, but it's still some heavy ass weight. So let's try it. <laughs> All I hear, go get the money. So I go get it. Hate means I do something right. So I'ma let him. Yeah, I'ma let him. Yeah, 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 I'ma let him. I hit the nail on the head. Yeah, yeah, I'ma let him. All I hear, go get the money. About to attempt. Ow! Just hit my shin. I'm about to attempt four plates, and I just said I might not achieve a single rep. Just like, as in, four might not be there, but I'm gonna. I want to see what I can do. 
I've talked to you about all this. Yeah, well, like it's like the <laughs> I'm not a fan of that. <laughs> oh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All I hear, go get the money. So I go get it. Hate means I do something right. So I'ma let him. Yeah, I'ma let him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'ma let him. I hit the nail on the head. Yeah, yeah, I'ma let him. You can by yourself each time. And then once you can't get another rep, I'm gonna help you with six more. Alright? So. You go first so I can show you what it looks like. And th these are slow as actually, I'm going to go first and I'll just show you. So, okay, go ahead and stand in there. So, they're slow as fuck, and I'll tell you when I need your help. And you're just going to put like both of your fingers like somewhere on the bar and just slowly, like keep a, keep a steady amount of tension all the time. Just help me get six more. So I'll tell you when I need it. If you think I'm last, say, last should be first, 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 first. Go ahead and go feast your eyes. Chef up cooking them pies. Leaving no slice, believe on the guy. Who in demand? Who got supplies? You on the land? Me and flies. Look at the mouth. I'll be in skies. Right by my side. Let's look at them thighs. Up in Dubai. You see us. Black man, black sand beaches. All right, guys, so we just wrapped up that workout, and while I'm pumped, I'm gonna give you guys a semi-brutally honest uh, physique update. Good lighting right here. I'm um, sitting right around 193 in the morning these days, and I'm bigger and stronger than I've ever been, so I don't take my shirt off often now that it's post-show and I've put on some body fat, but you know, like, this is bodybuilding, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm looking like um, with 100% honesty real quick. So that's honest, that's what we're looking like. Just trying to get as big as we can right now and put on all the mass and strength possible. All right guys, so I just wanted to wrap up the video on this note. So this Monday, the 17th, Beam is dropping that new vegan protein. It's such a nice switch up from whey, which is usually just thick and just gives you just these digestive issues. Vegan is where it's at. Um, yeah, but this is going to be the last upload you guys are going to see for about uh, about a month and a half. Um, I am working on a project that I originally thought, okay, I'll be able to upload once a week and also simultaneously work on this on the side with my coaching kind of accelerating the way it is. And then on top of that, having my actual job, um, it very quickly got too much for me to handle and give the amount of detail that I wanna give to this project all at the same time. So I'm taking a mini break, but I will be back. And I am gonna be back with something that I'm very proud to present, very excited to present. And I really want to give this the production that I feel that it deserves. So, as always, thank you so much for supporting your boy. After this video, I will see you guys on November 1st. Keep up to date with everything I'm doing on Instagram. And uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit.